Today I'm going to share with you how to upload the photos to the storage of the Firebase and also record it to both Firestore and real-time database. So first we are going to init a project. So we go inside the folder. There are three plugins that we also need to install. One is the constant. So we want to check whether this is Android or iOS. The other is the permission, because later we may use the permission to get the photos from the user. And at last, we also need to install the image picker that allow the user to pick photo from their phone. So now we can go inside the project. And here we are going to create a folder called utilities. And then inside the folder we create a file called user permission. Inside the user permission, we can import constant from the expo constant. And we also need to import the permission. So now we can create a class to check whether the user already grant the permission. And actually this coding can be found in the expo image picker document. We go inside the image picker document and there is a get permission async so we can copy this code and then we just paste it here now at last we have to export default new user permission Then we are going to set up the layout of the app. So we go to the app.js. Now we have to import the buttons and also the image from the React Native. Because later we will use the button and also the image inside our layout. Also we have to import the image picker and also the user permissions that we just created. So we have to write import star as image picker. From expo image picker. And now we have also need to add the user permission. From the utilities and the user permission. So now, first of all, we have to create a pick image 
function because later we have to we have to add a button that the user can pick the image by using the image picker and actually this function can also be found inside the expo image picker document so we just copy it and back to the app we just paste inside here and we have to change the name and the CSS we do not need the background and also the aligned items so we just delete it now we can go to create a button and the title is equal to choose picture and then we trigger the function on press which is equal to the pick image now we also have to import the use state and also the use effect because we have to check the state of the image and also to check the permission so we have to use the use effect So initially, the state should be null for the image because there should be no image selected. And now we have to use the use effect. Now we are going to create an image which used to show the image when the user select a new image from the, their phone. So we have to check whether the image is equal to now. If this is equal to now, we just display the text that no image is selected otherwise we will display the image and since later we have to create a upload button so instead of just use the image we have to use the wheel to wrap all the stuff So we add some style And also we have to create a button
Now we also have to change this to save area view. We also have to change this because we are now using the set use state, so we are not going to use this method. We are going to use set image. And inside this wheel, we also have to add some style here, which is style equal to and margin top is equal to 32 and the height is equal to 150 if we take a look on the app and this will ask you about the permission so we can check the allow now we try to choose the picture and now as you can see the image displayed inside the app and also the upload button will be ready for uploading to the firebase